Hey guys, uh, I'm Ethan Moore from Stockholm Supply and I've been getting a lot of emails and calls asking about filters, especially on our Nanomax filters with the Canvac, uh, whether they're HEPA and what does HEPA mean. And I think that's what I just wanted to dive into today is what HEPA actually is. And basically it boils down to a HEPA filter is going to filter down to 0.3 microns and capture 99.97% of that sawdust. So really, really good. And the reason a 0.3 is such an important number is the studies show that is the most dangerous size when it comes to your lungs. So 0.3, really important size to capture. Now, when we're talking about machinery, um, they'll often call it HEPA grade or they'll even call it HEPA sometimes. Um, but if you really look at it, maybe those filters aren't exactly HEPA. So the filters that we sell are MERV 15. Now MERV is kind of the standard when it goes to filter ratings. Um, so you can have MERV 1 all the way up to MERV 18. So we got MERV 15. Um, Clearview Cyclones, uh, historically, they've advertised there's MERV 15 as HEPA grade. Um, now there's also MERV 16, which is a very popular um, rating as well. Um, and Oneida, historically, they've called their MERV 16 filters a uh, HEPA grade. Now, officially to get to HEPA, MERV 17 is where HEPA starts. Um, where a MERV 15 and MERV 16, you could call HEPA adjacent because they're very, very similar. But there are a few important details. Now, if you ask any manufacturer of a dust collector um, or filters, they would never recommend you use a HEPA filter on a dust collector because of the volume of the sawdust. Um, because it has such fine pores, they will plug up really, really quickly when you have a large amount of sawdust. So, um, that's why MERV 15s, uh, that's what we use here, um, that's why we chose this material. It will capture 99% uh, of 0.3 micron sawdust once it has been seasoned for about 10, 15 minutes, once it's been used. Uh, where MERV 16, will capture 99% of 0.3 microns right away. Now, the reason that we chose to go with MERV 15 rather than MERV 16 is really, really simple. Um, a MERV 16, the main difference is it has a PFTE membrane on the inside, and that's what bumps up the filter rating just a little bit. Now, that membrane, though, is very, very fragile, very delicate. So when you go to clean the filter, um, you can tear that membrane quite easily. Um, often guys will clean this with air pressure, and if you have too much air pressure, you can puncture it. And once the filter is torn, you're not going to filter anything, of course. So the MERV 15 that we use is a lot tougher, um, so you can clean it over and over without having to worry about the tears. So HEPA, if you want to add a HEPA filter, um, Dennis from Hooked on Wood, he did it with his CAMVAC. Um, here and he did it a really interesting way where he had his Canvac system set up. He has our Nanomax filters on his Canvac, but then he built himself a whisper box. And at the end of that whisper box, he added his HEPA filters. So the best way to use HEPA filters on a dust collector is to use it after uh, the sawdust has been, uh, has been filtered. Use it as uh, the end. So if you put a HEPA filter right on the exhaust of the CAMVAC after it's been filtered, that is an appropriate use. Where if I was actually to use a HEPA filter, they would plug up nearly instantly because of the volume of the sawdust. So yeah, um, I hope that makes sense. If anybody else has any questions, you can email me at info at stockmansupply.com or just comment on the video. Thanks for watching. Ethan? Yes. Where are those filters made? Oh, they're made right here in Canada. So I uh, gave them the specs I wanted them to make them to exactly, and that's what they did. Not even very far from here. Not even very far, just up the road.